naitwa Sharon Chaale Wata. Mimi ni Deputy Director in Charge of Training and Research kwa shirika la Kenya Copyright Board. Kenya Copyright Board ni shirika la serikali ambalo lina deal na mambo ya copyright kwa Kiswahili tunasema hakimiliki ya wasanii. Wasanii ambao tuna deal nao ni kama musicians, kuna writers, kuna poets, kuna actors, kuna painters, sculptors, hata wachoraji wote wako katika mambo ya copyright. Leo tulikuja hapa Embu County uh, kuongea na wasanii katika hii Embu Art Week. Uh, Tumeelimisha wasanii kuhusu mambo yao ya copyright, kulinda mali yao, hakimiliki yao ya copyright, vile wanaweza kuitumia, pia vile wanaweza kufanya registration, pia vile wanaweza kutengeneza hela kutokana na kazi zao. So tumekuja hapa eh, kushirikiana na county government ya Embu kuelimisha wasanii eh, ili wajue rights zao ili wajue kutumia hata mali ya watu wengine uh, bila kufanya chenye tunaita infringement na pia wajue vile wanaweza kutengeneza pesa kutokana na mali yao uh, hakimiliki ama copyright ni property ya mtu binafsi kama gari lako kama nyumba yako kwa hivyo the person who has the first responsibility ya kuilinda ni yeye kama msanii Uh, na maanisha kwamba kama ni vitu zako unaweka online lazima uzilinde lazima uweke vitu ambavyo tunaita technological protection measures unaweza kutumia watermark unaweza kutumia uh, uh, technological measures ambazo watu hawezi kudownload vitu zako kirahisi hivyo sio kusema kwamba mtu anaweza kuiba ataiba lakini akiiba pia uh, you can come to copyright board unapiga ripoti Copyright Board tunafanya kazi na polisi, National Police Service. Tuko na maafisa kutoka National Police Service ambao wako seconded Copyright Board wanafanya kazi na sisi. Wako na idhini ya kufanya raids, wako na idhini ya kuingia mahali, kufanya search, kuchukua vitu ambavyo vina infringe na kupeleka mtu kotini. Kwa hivyo msanii aki, akiona kwamba vitu zake zimechukuliwa na mwenzake anaweza kupiga ripoti kwetu tutaweza kuchukua hiyo kesi na kupeleka kotini. Tukienda mambo ya digital. Pia pale kwenye mtandao. Ukiona kwamba mtu amechukua uh, kitu chako, nyimbo yako, filmi yako, amechukua kitabu chako, amechukua picha yako ame, pale online na amefanya chenye tunasema infringement. Infringement ni kuiba basically, ni kuiba. Unaweza kupiga ripoti bado Uh, pia kuna kitu kwenye copyright act inaitwa take down notice unaandikia ile eh, internet service provider unawaambia watoe ile infringing content pale alafu wataweza kutoa wakikata tena unapiga ripoti tunawapeleka kotini uh, DPP alikuwa ametupa uh, kitu ambacho tunaita delegated prosecution so hata mimi nimekuwa copyright prosecutor tumeweza kufanya kesi nyingi sana naweza kusema wasanii wanaendelea kuwa aware ya rights zao wanaendelea kupiga ripoti shida inakuanga kama hauna complainant ukija kwangu lazima nipeleke kesi kotini niwe na complainant kama sina complainant siwezi peleka kesi kotini peke yangu kwa hivyo ningesema wasanii wameanza kukua aware wameanza kuja kupiga ripoti kesi zimekuwa nyingi pale kotini uh, na pia hata judges wetu na magistrates sana sana ambao wana deal na hizi kesi pia wameanza kukua aware na unaona pia fine zikaanza kuenda juu. Tulishatengeneza copyright act tukasema faini ya juu kabisa yenye mtu anaweza pewa ni 800,000. Na utapata saa hii fines zenye magistrates wanapeana ni kama hata 400 hata 200. Kwa hivyo hata wameanza kuchukulia mambo ya copyright ya intellectual property uh, kama kitu kubwa. Wameanza kuona kama hii pia ni wizi. Na ningependa kusema watu wenye wanafanya infringement hii wizi ukiangalia mahali kama Europe watu wengi wenye wanafanya infringement wanatumia hizo pesa kufund vitu kama terrorism because kule infringement iko kwa hali ya juu na tukiendelea kufanya infringement hatutaki kufika pale hii sekta ya creative um, industries tulifanya study 2009 kwa usaidizi wa World Intellectual Property Organization kama Kenya Copyright Board tukapata ya kwamba hii sekta ina contribute to approximately 6% of the GDP ya economy ya Kenya. Hiyo ilikuwa 2009. Sasa sekta ime, ime grow. Sasa ukifanya utafiti saa hii najua unaweza pata ya kwamba hii sekta ina contribute sana kwa economy ya Kenya. 
hii sector inafanya creation of jobs hii sector inatoa mali inatoa products inatoa services ambazo zina feed back into the economy kwa hivyo this is a very important sector to, to be grown na step ambayo embu county imechukua kutengeneza creative policy na pia kutengeneza this creatives art week i think is a right step in the right direction wasanii ambao ni maona hapa is a good presentation kuna musicians kuna wachoraji kuna filmmakers kila mtu ni maona hapa kuna wale wenye wanaandika scripts kila mtu nimemuona hapa leo kwa hivyo ningependa kupongeza county government ya Embu pia kwa step ambayo wamechukua kuanzia uh, saa hii sijasikia county nyingine ambayo inatengeneza creatives policy bado right now we are working on a creatives policy for the national government lakini uh, in counties sijasikia kwa hivyo Embu county <laughs> iko mbele sana a lot of us use online kwa sababu unataka isambaye haraka and you you want to get likes and maybe monetize and get some money kwenye platforms kama YouTube and Spotify na pale kule kwingine lakini usipolinda mali yako utapata imetumika na mwenzako na utapoteza hela nyingi kwa hivyo uh, my cry to the artist one ni kwamba uangalie ule wimbo kama we ni msanii wa mziki kama utaangalia shamba yako ama gari lako kitu cha pili you have to monitor use of your work pia whether it is being infringed upon na ukipata kwamba kuna shida uko huru kabisa kupiga ripoti kwa shirika la copyright board utasaidika